Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Don Ziglioni, and I'm back with another tutorial. So I've been asked a few times on my stream to explain sample rate. I actually have the easiest way to understand sample rate I'm gonna share with you right now. By the end of this video, you'll have no doubt a complete understanding of exactly what it is and what it means to you in your sessions, okay? So let me just show you actually with a couple of pictures here. So here we have a simple waveform, and we can just pretend that we recorded this into the computer and now it's digital information, right? And the way that it works is your analog to digital converter needs to take the analog sound, whatever it is you're recording, and then convert it into digital information so that the digital language can understand it. The way it does this is by taking snapshots of your waveform. So let's just say this is a second long clip it's taking one, two, three, four, five, six samples in this example alone. So we'll say this is a sample rate of six, right? So the computer doesn't know what's in between the images that it takes. So what happens is, is that it basically just can connect the dots. It says it knows that this is point one and this is point two. So this obviously is what's in between it. Same with three and four and five and six as it moves on. You can see it's trying to be a uh, an, an accurate representation of the waveform, but it's definitely not exactly what we're recording in. This black line is what we're recording and we wanna get exactly what we're trying to record, right? So the higher the sample rate, the more pictures we take. So here we can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pictures for the same waveform, right? So it's taking more pictures, and then what happens is it still connects the dots, but it's getting closer to the actual sound that we're trying to record, right? So this would be more accurate, but still not identical, obviously, because it's still rounding off these edges, and we can see that it's not an exact representation of the waveform, right? So the higher the sample rate, the more pictures it's taking. So if you're recording at 44.1 kilohertz, that means it's taking 44,100 pictures of your sound while it's being recorded per second. 44,000 per second, that is a lot of image. So it gets pretty accurate. And the higher you go up, the more. So 48 is 48,000 images of your sound per second. So you see where I'm going here. Now, the larger the sample rate, the larger the file. So you have to be careful and use your own judgment. Most songs are gonna be recorded and released at 44.1. 44.1 is the standard for most digital and CD releases. They will go out at 44.1. So that's what's known as CD quality. Um, 48 has been a standard for a lot of programs and things uh, as such. But the higher you go, the larger your file. So when would you use 192 as your sample rate? It's completely up to you. There's really no right or no wrong. You can record in 44 and have it sound amazing. You know, your mix will sound great. But um, if you have a really intimate setting is what I usually say, like if it's just gonna be a piano player and a beautiful singer, you know, maybe like a big diva, if you got Christina in the in the studio or maybe Paul McCartney um, and it's all it's gonna be is just acoustic and vocals, we wanna capture as much of that sound and the energy that they're gonna put in the room. You know, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And we're not going to have a bunch of files, so we don't really care about this space. However, if we're talking about a pop song that's going to have hundreds of tracks, some of the songs I mix have oh, well over 150 tracks. And if they're all waveforms that are recorded at 192, you're never going to hear the difference because there's so much going on. You don't have to worry about that. Save your space. You know what I'm saying? So if you record it, 48, 44.1 versus 40 or 88.2, that's twice the quality, but twice the file size. And it may not even necessarily be quality depending on the song. It's a very subjectable, it's your call, right? So 
that's what I've got for you. That's exactly how to picture sample rate. It's a visual representation. All it's doing is taking snapshots, little images of your audio as it records. And of course, the more pictures it takes, the more accurate the sound is. If it only takes a couple pictures per second, then it's just gonna round in the edges and you'll hear that digital distortion. So I really hope that helps you out. Again, my name is Don Ziglione. Don't forget to check out the Patreon. Um, that's where I'm giving away free mixes, free lessons. It's an exclusive club that's really freaking awesome. Come be a part of our community. Come check me out on the live stream at twitch.tv slash Don Ziglione. You know that. Instagram, Snapchat, all your favorite social media, whatever you want, but definitely the Twitch channel for the live stream, the Patreon for the benefits. So thank you very much for spending some time with me. I really hope this helped you out. And uh, yeah, I look forward to working with you in the future. All right. See you soon. Peace.